Hello. 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 What? Well, that was awkward. Hello, everybody. I am back filming on my camcorder in my room. As you can tell, there is my blue bedspread back here. And I am back in my room and I am so excited. But as you can see, there are still a few pieces that are not hung on top of the walls yet. So all of the stuff that is in the guest bedroom. are now back inside of my room, thankfully. So I am back and room tour will hopefully be very, very soon, but yeah, I just have to finish doing a few more things. We painted everything, pretty much finished all of the little odds and ends of the room, but now I just have to hang the things. My bathroom is completely finished now, so I am really, really excited, but I am doing a makeup tutorial today and I am introducing you to my friend Megan and I am going to be showing you this look that I did right here. It's a going for a very natural look and it's a little bit more dramatic than a natural look because the browns that I used are a little bit darker in the crease as you can see and I do have like a black wing but I didn't put too too much makeup so it's kind of like a dressier neutral if that makes any sense but I'm going to be doing Megan's makeup after I show you how I got this look. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to use is this Stay Don't Stray from Benefit. It looks like this. It's a primer. And it has got a, a little pump. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger, like that. And just apply it all over my lid. Okay, so next I'm going to take my Coastal Scents out. And taking my Sephora brush, I'm going to be using this color right here. Okay, so now to kind of tone down this color, I'm going to be taking a lighter shade of the brown, which is more of a kind of peachy color right here. And with the same Sephora brush, I'm just going to dip it over and brush the color on top of this one. We're going to add a little bit of shimmer onto the top lid, like this eye, and just add a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to be taking this color over here and applying it on top of these two colors. Okay, so the next step is to take a darker brown and I'm going to be mixing two colors in the crease right here. So I'm going to be taking a brush from Mark and it's a smaller brush that looks like this. And I'm going to go back and take this kind of glitterier brown and I'm going to brush it in through the crease like this. Then to kind of make the definition a little bit more stand out-ish, I'm going to take a darker brown and go over top of this color. So on the Coastal Sense palette, it's two colors down. So I'm going to be using this one right here. And going, fanning out more towards the outer corner of the eye. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking a cream colored and highlighting my brow. So I'm going to be taking this cream right here and using my big Sephora brush I'm just going to use it on the top of my brow and also blending in the rest of the colors on my eye. Okay so once you have the eyeshadow on I want to use a white pencil and I'm just going to outline the inner corners of the eye to kind of make the eye look a little bit bigger. It is a little bit more makeup for a natural look, but we're sticking with the browns. So rather than making it very dramatic and putting a dark black eyeliner or anything underneath here, I'm just going to take the white pencil and just go over here. I'm going to be using a liquid liner from Maybelline. It's called Line Stiletto. And I'm going to be drawing a line starting in the middle of the eye and going outward and then connecting it right here, like that eye. And finally, 
finally, I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Lengthening and Defining Mascara. And I'm going to apply it on the top and bottom of the lashes. Okay, and that completes the natural look using browns and creams. Thanks so much for watching the first part of the video, which was my tutorial. And now we're going to be focusing on Megan. This is Megan, introducing you to my friend Megan. She used to go to my college, but unfortunately transferred. And now she lives far away, so she's coming to visit, so it's been about like two or three days. Well, I always live far away. Yeah, and she lives far away too, so it's very sad. But, um, so we, again, are focusing on the browns. We tried to stay away from the oranges on her look, because she is warm, she is in autumn, so the skin tone is a little bit different than mine, so different colors, you know, look better on certain people and not on others. So, basically, for her look, what I thought would be really nice was to put a nice little teal. We explain everything in her part, so if you want to see her makeup... Oh yeah, because I have weird eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> she doesn't have weird eyes. Not weird, just unique. No, we have very blue eyes and we're very pale but it's fine I wasn't I was talking about my eyeball structure <laughs> <laughs> we discovered that she has a different different eye structure but again you will find out all the deets in her part of the video so if you want to see her look keep watching okay so the first thing I'm gonna be using is this stay don't stray primer potion that I also used for mine and because this has a little bit more of a yellow base she has more yellow undertone because she's in autumn, so she is more on the warm side. The True Match from L'Oreal that I usually use sometimes as a concealer is too blue-based, so see, it's cool. Okay, so now for her eyes, I'm actually going to be using a different palette, and it broke, so I'm just going to show you the front. It is called Collar Impact. Oh, there's a mirror right there. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like this. There are uh, 98 shadows. So it looks like this. And for the base, I'm going to be taking my Sephora brush, because it's a little bit bigger, and I'm going to be taking this very shimmery brown right here as the base on top of her eyelid. Okay, so now Megan has a different eye shape than mine. What we discovered is that Obviously, my eyebrow is a little bit higher up than hers, too, so there is not much space in between her eye and her eyebrow. So rather than taking a darker brown now and doing what I did for mine and doing it in the crease, we are going to be taking a darker brown with a smaller brush and fanning outwards, which is going to be making her eye look bigger. It's kind of like in the crease, but it's just, it's more off to the side. And more it's off more, to the side. It's like darker. Right. More off to the side and not, not so much carrying the brown into the crease, but it's going to be starting mostly halfway down the eye and then fanning outwards this way. So we're going to be taking this brown over here and again taking my mark brush, which is a little bit smaller to do eyeshadows in the crease. I'm going to be taking it and like we have been discussing, I'm going to start halfway uh, on the eyelid and then fanning outwards towards the end of the eyebrow. Alright, so taking the Sephora brush again, I'm going to be taking a kind of cream color right here, and I'm going to be highlighting the top of her brow. Alright, so the last touch on this eye makeup look, as you can see on this eye, there is a teal color on the bottom, so rather than putting it in the waterline, we are going to be taking this teal color and it is Love My Eyes. And the color of it is Sea Green. So we're going to be putting this color right underneath the eyelashes. And again, because Megan is in autumn, teals and these kinds of greens look very, very nice. So this is a very nice color for complementing the skin tone. So we're just going to put it underneath the eyelashes. Okay. 
Okay, so the last thing we're going to be adding, of course, is mascara. So I'm going to be using the one that Megan brought from CoverGirl. And this one is the Lash Blast Volume. Oh, yes. Look at the brush. It's kind of dead. It's all like that. It's nice, though. Okay, so this is the finished look with the <laughs> teal on the bottom. Look down. Okay. And that's a wrap. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed both of the looks. And thank you to Megan for being the... The force model, because I came down <laughs> to visit and this is what happens. Forest model, yes. No, but it was just fun because she does have a different skin tone. She's different. She's an actual autumn. I faked being an autumn in my other video, but she's an actual autumn. I'm the real thing. Yeah, she's the real thing. And she has a different eye structure. That's kind of the inside joke that we had last time. Eye structure, not, not eyeball, eyeball structure. structure. I eyes. actually knew it was eye structure. And, and eye structure is an inside joke. There's a lot of bloopers in this video. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I would love to see what kind of looks you guys come up with. Um... Using the different browns, the different you creams. You know what else we should see creams. is, because we never look this up, we're supposed to look it up. Which, like, which one of our structures is, is like, more common? Like, which one's, like, like a dominant? Recess the dominant Dominant one. and, like, recessive. Yeah, so if you guys know that, post a comment. Because we're just kind of curious. Yeah. I think, I feel like it'd probably be more like yours. Because I don't think a lot of people have issues with... I don't know, but then again, I never thought I had issues putting it. <laughs> I don't know. Well, so this video is perfect because it shows how to apply makeup in the crease for someone that has a higher bone structure for the eyes and someone that has a low, like a lower well, you were a perfect bone match. structure. So, and a summer and an autumn, so it's like we're sister, no, we're not sister seasons. I'm sister Yeah, well, season. summer goes, oh, well, summer goes into autumn. Yes. <laughs> but we're opposites, that's what <laughs> like, I meant to dumb say. dumb morons. So... <laughs> Um, but I would love to see what kind of look you guys come up with, so I'm going to be posting my Facebook page on the bottom, and I would love for you to post a picture and show me what kind of look you guys come up with. So, thank you so much for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a great day. And, yeah. Or night, whenever you're watching this, really. Yeah. I always say great day. It's, but it's, it's great... evening right now. <laughs> it hey, is. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Um, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> you like llama. No, I did like this. Like this. Okay. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. Bye.